Hello, I'm Mrs. Keo, and I'm here to say hi to all my story timers and mother goosers. And I'm going to get started with my Mother Goose on the Loose program invented by Betsy Diamond Cohen. And eh, I hope you're all having a good week. It's nice and sunny outside. I'm going to start with our goosey. We go, old mother goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on a very fine gander. Old mother goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on a very fine gander. Then we go, wee willy winky runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown. Rapping at the windows, tapping at the locks. Are the children in their beds? It's past eight o'clock. Okay, thank you, Goosey. I'll put you over here because we'll use you again for our bouncy songs. We have our five little monkeys. And they go like this. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys drooping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey Jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. All right, and like we always do, we'll put the monkeys back in the mitt and they'll say, Oh, oh, ee, ee, no, no. Yes, monkeys. Okay, now here's Mrs. Perky Bird. We go, good morning, Mrs. Perky Bird, Perky Bird, Perky Bird, good morning, Mrs. Perky Bird, where are you? I'm flying in the air, the air, air, the air, air, the air, I'm flying in the, the air, way up high. Thank you, Mrs. Perky Bird, that was lovely, as always. Okay. I'm going to read my garden. Kevin Hanks, and it is published by Green Willow Books. My mother has a garden. I'm her helper. I water, I weed, and I chase away the rabbits so that they don't eat all the lettuce. It's hard work, and my mother's garden is very nice. But if I had a garden, there would be no weeds, and the flowers would keep blooming and blooming and never die. See, there's sunflowers in the garden. They're my favorite. In my garden, the flowers could change color just by my thinking about it. Pink and blue and green and purple, even patterns. If you picked a flower, another one would grow right back in its place. In my garden, the rabbits wouldn't eat the lettuce because the rabbits would be chocolate, and I would eat them. <laughs> if I planted seashells, I'd grow seashells. If I planted jelly beans, I'd grow a great big jelly bean bush. Sometimes in my garden, good unusual things would just pop up. Buttons and umbrellas and rusty old keys. In my garden, there would be birds and butterflies by the hundreds, 
so that the air was humming with wings. The tomatoes would be as big as beach balls and the carrots would be invisible because I don't like carrots. At night, the morning glories would stay open, shining like stars, and strawberries would glow like lanterns. It's night now, only the fireflies and the porch light are glowing. Before bed, I take one seashell from the shelf in my room, and I go into the garden. I poke the seashell into the ground. Who knows what might happen? I cover it up with dirt and pat down the dirt with my foot. What are you doing, asks my mother. Oh, nothing, I say, just working in my garden. And who knows, maybe a seashell will grow. Okay, we're gonna have our bouncy rhymes. Everybody find a lap. If you can't find a lap, find a chair or sit on the floor. We go, seesaw, scare a down all the way to London town. Seesaw, scare a down all the way to London town. Wilton town, yeah, yeah, caught me there. And we go, mother and father and Uncle John went to the market one by one. Mother fell off. Father fell off, and Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on and on on and 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 on on and on and on and on and on, just like that. And we do the bounciest song of all, the Noble Duke of York. And we go, the Noble Duke of York. He had so many men. He marched them up top of the hill, and he marched them down again. When you're up, you're up, and when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. Just like that. Thank you, Goosey. She's always so helpful. Okay, now we're going to throw the pig. If you've got a beanie baby or a teddy or even a stuffed pig, you can throw them with me. I'll do it a couple of times. We go, hickory dickory dare. Throw the pig up in the air. Farmer Brownson brought him down. Hickory dickory dare. Hickory dickory dare. Throw the pig up in the air. Farmer Brownson brought him down. Hickory dickory dare. And as you can see, this is my shift for the week of uh, this week to be in the library, and that's why I'm here in our story room. Remember our mural and how we like to look at everything? And right in back of me is the picture of the turtle, and I have my turtle puppet all ready to go. And he goes, There was a little turtle, and he lived in a box. He swam in the water and he climbed on the rocks. He snapped at the minnow, he snapped at the flea, he snapped at the mosquito and he snapped at me. He caught the minnow, he caught the flea, he caught the mosquito, but he didn't catch me. Thank you, turtle, that was very nice. Okay. We have our scarves. Everybody, if you've got a scarf at home or if you can borrow a towel or a washcloth, pretty much anything will do. Maybe mommy has a scarf you could borrow if you're careful with it. And we start out, we toss them in the air, just like that. I have all the scarves in the basket waiting for when we can all come back again. How nice that will be. We go like this. I pick up the end of the scarf and I go, window, window, wind today. The wind is blowing my scarf away. Window, window, wind, I say. The wind is blowing my scarf away. And then we scrunch up. This is very important. Scrunch them up. Pretend they're covered with warm, soapy water. And we go, this is the way we wash our face, wash our face, wash our face. This is the way we wash our face on a summer morning. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands on a summer morning. We'll do it again. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands on a summer morning. This is the way we wash our knees, wash our knees, dirty knees. 
This is the way we wash our knees on a summer morning. And then we pick up our scarves again. We hold them up so they make a square. We put them over our faces. I can still see through them. And we go like this. peek a -boo, I see you. I see Mother Goose, kids. Yes, I do. peek a -boo, I see you. I see Mother Goose, kids. Yes, I do. All right. I always enjoy the scarves. And we have our kitty and our mouse. And we go. Like I said, we, we're doing this from a sideways. We go, pussy cat, pussy cat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the Queen. Pussy cat, pussy cat, what did you there? I frightened a little mouse under her chair. And now Mr. Mouse will do Hickory Dickory Dock for us. <clears throat> we go, Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. Squeak, squeak, the clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. Squeak, squeak, the clock struck two. One, two. And the mouse said, Boo! Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. Squeak, squeak. The clock struck three. One, two, three. And the mouse said, Wee! Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. Squeak, squeak. The clock struck four. One, two, three, four. And the mouse said, More! Hickory dickory dock. Thank you, Mr. Mouse. He doesn't always behave, so it's good when he does. Hey, now we'll have a quiet song. We go like this. Sleep, baby, sleep. Mother's care is deep. Father shakes the dreamland tree, pulls down some lit dreams for thee. Sleep, baby, sleep. Mother's care is deep. Father shakes the dreamland tree, pulls down some little dreams for thee. And we have our froggy. And he goes like this. I had a little froggy, his name was Tiny Jim. I put him in the bathtub to teach him how to swim. He drank up all the water, ate up all the soap. Now every time he talks, there's a bubble in his throat. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Very nice. Okay. Always make sure I close that bubble blower thing very tightly because I don't want bubble blow blowing solution all over the puppets. Okay. Now we're going to sing, Can You Kick With Both Feet? And we go like this. Can you kick with both feet, both feet, both feet? Can you kick with both feet? Yes, you can. Can you slap your knees now? Knees now, knees now. Can you slap your knees now? Yes, you can. Can you swing your arms now? Arms now, arms now. Can you swing your arms now? Yes, you can. Can you clap your hands now? Hands now, hands now. Can you clap your hands now? Yes, you can. Can you tap your shoulders, shoulders, shoulders? Can you tap your shoulders? Yes, you can. Can you nod your heads now? Heads now, heads now. Can you nod your heads now? Yes, you can. Can. <laughs> All right. So I'll see everybody again next week. And uh, I'm going up to Maine this weekend, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to go visit my sister. And... I've never been to Maine before, so usually I go to the Jersey coast, but 
I will talk to you all soon and have a lovely week. Take care.